All right, this is the Easy Restore, which we use for um, high pot time domain reflectometry, commonly called TDR, and arc reflection. So uh, this is the E stop. That's the high voltage on button, high voltage stop button, control button, on off switch, and your high voltage cable there. Um, there's your safety ground here. Very simple unit. Display coming up. And there's three menu options. And you follow these procedures from left to right. So you start with high pot, then you go to sectionalizing, then you go to locate. So roughly speaking, this is high pot, this is time domain reflectometry, and this is arc reflection. So we're going to test the 100 foot uh, cable from the hardware store. So we're going to do the high pot, so we're going to roll the film uh, while we're uh, high potting the 100 foot cable from the hardware store. So there's the 100 foot cable from the hardware store. We set an arc gap uh, around a little bit more than a centimeter perhaps or somewhere around the centimeter so where we get uh, approximately 10,000 volts per centimeter. Um, no accuracy here but uh, it should flash over because our maximum voltage is 12 kV and uh, the flash of a point typically in air is about 10,000 volts per centimeter. So let's go back to the easy restore. All right, let's high pot this cable. Choose high pot. Crank up the voltage to 12 kV. Uh, it'll flash over when it gets to the proper voltage. So unless you're concerned about the, uh, uh, the cable, you should be fine. Again, this is determining the point at which it um, the dielectric breaks down. You'll hear the spark. Okay, we had breakdown at 8.7 kV. You can perform your calculations to uh, see how big the spark gap was uh, using the equation uh, 10,000 volts per centimeter. All right, we got breakdown. Now we're going to start fault locating. Now it's um, doing time domain reflectometry. It's sending a pulse down the cable to search for the cable end. Okay, it says the cable ends likely at 99 feet, and uh, since that's a 100 foot uh, cable from the hardware store, and I hacked off both of the ends uh, to do this experiment, that's about right. What we're going to do here is, is adjust manually and open up the, um, actually let's go through this menu here. So you got change, uh, adjust gain under this menu, change visible range here, continue if you don't want to do anything. Change the value of the cable velocity. This is quite interesting to some people, so I'll do a pull-down menu on that one. So there's your types of cable on this side, and there's the speed of the, uh, of the electromagnetic sig signal going through the various cables. So this one's 277 feet per microsecond. And you can go down this menu here to um, do adjustments if you find your type of cable in there, or you can manually enter it. If you go to this side, you can adjust it manually. See? Go up or down. Just uh, 277 feet per microsecond, or you can go up, 
or you can go down if you want. So I'll just stay at 277 feet per microsecond. Continue. And continue. Confirm. It's about 100 feet or so. Okay, so what we're doing now is we're going to do the arc reflection. So the arc reflection is going to crank up the voltage till the dielectric breaks down. And the minute the dielectric breaks down, it's going to send a TDR pulse to, to bounce off the arc. So we can figure out exactly where the flashover occurs, or in other words, where the open fault is. So that's arc reflection. So let's start arc reflection. Again, it has to send a high voltage pulse uh, to make the arc, and then it's going to shoot a TDR through the arc. You don't have to know this, you just that's just commentary. Okay, here we go. We're cranking up the voltage so we can have a dielectric breakdown, so we can shoot a TDR for arc reflection. release the arc, shot the reflection. Okay, here's an important point for this type of equipment. You're going to see two graphs. One is blue and one is red. The blue is the TDR by itself. The red is the arc reflection. In other words, the TDR bouncing off the arc. Where the two points separate is where we're concerned about. That verifies the open faults. Again, watch where these two graphs separate. Right here. That's where the open fault is. That's where the gap is where the electrons jumped across for the dielectric breakdown. Okay? Notice how the two curves hug each other and stay close to each other from the, ins from the start to up to this point. That means there's no arc here on the cable. However, there's an arc here. That, that's how to interpret these graphs. So the crucial point after you do time domain reflectometry, when you do arc reflection, you're looking for the separation of the traces. Remember that if you're doing this type of technology, write it down. Look for the separation of the traces. And that's the very basics of the Easy Restore. Again, you're performing three functions with this unit. Number one, high pot or dielectric breakdown. Number two, time domain reflectometry, commonly called TDR. And number three, arc reflection. The cables for the Easy Restore to hook up into the cables is very simple. You have a send, you have a return, and then you have a safety ground here. So you got three connections, send, return, and safety ground, and that's it. Very easy to connect up. You find the uh, center conductor, you find the shield, and you connect the safety ground as appropriate according to your company safety procedures for grounding or generally accepted practices within the industry if your company does not have any procedures for connecting ground.